Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. It is an amazing day, another amazing uh, day here in Canada. Even more amazing than yesterday. I did not think that was possible, but today has surpassed it. We have this incredible highway here with these mountains off over there. Just kidding. Check out this view right behind us, you guys, right in front of us, actually. That is what we're scoping at right now. Is this insane or what? Check yeah. this out. And this is just like a normal everyday view for some Canadians. This yeah. is nuts. We are doing our road trip with Yama. They've given us this amazing van for the week that is newly renovated. We mm -hmm. did a tour of the van in our first video here in Canada, which we'll link in the description below, but definitely check that out. Coolest camper van conversion that we've been in. Oh, for sure. It's essentially, we're just living in a house that yeah. happens to have wheels, house I feel wheels. like. It's so cozy and amazing. It has a full kitchen, full bathroom, full bed. And if you notice, we're both cleanly showered. And that's because oh there's God. a freaking shower, a with, shower hot water with hot water on this thing. <laughs> we're gonna have a link in the description below. They gave us a discount code that's exclusive just for you guys. 100 bucks off if you wanna book with Yama and take out this van right here. Mm -hmm. We are currently on the Icefield Parkway and we're gonna be making our way from Jasper down to Banff. Mm -hmm. We are going to stop at some amazing spots. This might actually be the prettiest drive in the world. I think it's gonna be the most beautiful. Fight us if you think otherwise. We have some waterfalls coming up. We have some amazing lakes, potentially some glaciers, hopefully some little critters, maybe a bear or two. We'll see. This drive normally is about three and a half or four hours. I think in one day you can hit up most of the cool spots. And since it's summertime, there's plenty of light to catch it all. All right, let's talk in more epic Canadian stuff. Okay, I said Canadian. <laughs> Let's talk in more epic Canada stuff. Our first stop is Sunwapta Falls. I'm not really sure what to expect because Allison did the research for this, <laughs> but I am pretty excited I to think. see it. We, so we went and saw um, Athabasca Falls yesterday, which was really huge and powerful. I think this one doesn't quite sound quite as loud, but I think there's supposed to be like a little island in between and it makes this really pretty unique fall. And it's very, very close to the road, 0.1 miles from where we are. So that's my kind of uh, viewpoint. These falls are a lot more intense than Athabasca. Yeah, so the photo that a lot of people get here show a very gentle little nice fall, but eventually it turns into this huge, epic, like monster falls. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so powerful and so loud. And she was just saying that if you fell over this edge over here, you'd be dead. Guys, the water is going Just nuts. like that. We had no idea, you guys, that you could walk right down to the falls. It's actually, it's fenced in on that side, but on this side, it's not. Yeah. But man, you can get right up to it. See it up close, I'm getting sprayed by it. But as you can see up here, you think like, okay, it's a little fall. Maybe you could go rafting down it, but no, it turns into sheer death right there. But it puts a little rainbow, so it looks really nice. Yeah. So there's this island right there in the middle and all this water's rushing around it on both sides and then meeting in the middle right here and creating the falls. It's amazing. It's absolutely it's amazing. one of the most beautiful waterfalls I think we've ever been to. We managed to get a pretty cool shot. We were just hanging out on the edge over there. Got a little shot of us. So I'll put it up, put it up on the screen. If it turned out any good. But now we're going to make the trek back to the uh, car. we got to go through all this stuff. This stuff is actually really <laughs> slick. A lot slicker than it seems. I mean, my shoes are fine, but Allison's shoes, we've discovered, it, are not <laughs> grippy at all. They were $10 boots that I got from, like, Kmart. <laughs> They are waterproof, but not really uh, hikeable. So we've gotten stuck behind a truck that's going about 20 kilometers an hour. We can't seem to find a spot to pass him. But the good news is it's making us take our time on the drive and check out the scenery that we're driving by right now. So many snow-capped peaks as far as the eye can see, so not the worst spot to have a slow guy in front of you. No, for sure. This is, uh, I'm, I'm not too angry about it. We just passed the Athabasca Glacier. It's absolutely beautiful up in these stunning mountains. And if you have time and you want to, you can actually 
pay for a tour that will take you out there in one of these huge crazy vehicles that will drive you onto the glacier. You can walk on it and I believe you can even fill up your water bottle with some glacier water which would be really sweet. I think it's a little expensive though uh, and we didn't book ahead so we're not doing it today but let us know if you've been or if you go and how it is. Luckily though you can see it from the road and you can see all the little bitty people out there walking on it. It looks awesome. For our next stop, we are going to check out Mistaya Canyon. It should be just a half mile walk down here. I'm digging all these like really short but really amazing stops. But we should be able to look down into this really awesome gorge. I think there's gonna be some beautiful water, lots of mountains over here and some beautiful trees. Hopefully no wildlife on this walk because I don't have my car <laughs> to keep me safe from. <laughs> and there are uh, bear warnings all over the place and we've seen multiple groups of people stopped looking at bears that they've seen on the side of the road. So yeah. bears everywhere around here. I've never seen so many in the wild in one yeah. spot. So I heard that they actually, the males, or I guess all of them, come up to the road to eat dandelions in the spring. So maybe that's what they're doing, trying to get all the fresh grass. And it's a good tip if you're driving, you want to see a bear, just wait. You don't really have to look <laughs> for the bear, just wait to see a crowd of people stop and then pull over. Yeah. This is the Mastaya Canyon. The Mastaya River rises in Pato Lake. It leaves the flat bottom valley here and plunges into this narrow canyon. Potholes in the rock formed by swirling water and rock debris indicate previous water levels. The rumbling water below is still at work, cutting, abrading, and dissolving the limestone rock. I'm really smart when a sign tells me to be. walk right up to the edge and just see the water flowing beneath it. You can see how it's carved out all these little smooth areas and just found its way through. So intensely powerful and terrifying being on the edge of it. This is such an amazing example of water erosion over thousands and thousands of years because the water level used to be up above us and you can see where it's carved out all these rocks, these smooth parts. And now it's so far down in there, it must have taken forever. But it also makes me realize that at some point, this is probably gonna fall down in there. And I do not like that, it makes me scared. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, this is amazing. There's almost nobody else here. And I had no idea you'd be able to get so close to the edge. You can pretty much just go anywhere you want. And the scenery is incredible. It's one of the coolest spots I've ever been. Canada's blown me away, man. <laughs> The final stop before we get to our campground down in Banff is Bow Lake or Bow Lake. I'm not exactly I'm sure. I'm sure it's Bow, right? I'm gonna guess Bow. Bow seems weird. But <laughs> check this thing out. The lake is frozen over right now mostly, but some of it's melted down here. And the little bit that's melted, you can see just how crystal clear this water is mm -hmm. when it's not frozen over. If you come after it's completely thawed though, I think it'll be a magical shade of blue. That's mm. kind of what I was hoping for today. It's been really warm this week, so I thought maybe more would have melted, but it hasn't. But it's still just magnificent as it is, all icy. And then the mountains still have so much snow on them. This is the most snow we've seen on our whole drive, I'd say. It's so pretty out here. See how cold the water is? I think I know how cold the water is, but yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, it hurts, it's so <laughs> cold. What are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm going for a dip. Starting with the shoes, I'm taking off the pants. Oh no! Just kidding. You're actually doing it, huh? Yes, I am. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus! That is taking my breath away just from putting my feet in there. Oh. Oh, it is indescribably cold. Okay, that's it. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, that's the coldest water I've ever been in in my life. It's so refreshing though. You gonna hop in? Oh yeah, Um, right after you dry off, I'll get in there. We made it to Banff. 
Y'all, we're hunkered down for the night. We've got our little uh, privacy thingies in. If you missed our first Canadian video, we showed off this amazing little Christopher Wallace is his name. <laughs> Named after this guy this right guy here. Right here. But we did a proper tour, but these it's got this nice um these nice blackout shades at night so we can be super secure and private so nobody can see that we're cooking soup in two weird pans. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is what we were eating. We were eating for dinner because it got really late, you guys. I'll tell you, it's been really difficult because the sun goes down at like 10:30 p.m. Yes, so we're well, driving around. We're like, oh, we've got tons of time, and then it turns out it's 10 p.m. already. We, I think, we have yet to eat dinner before 10:30 p.m. every night because yeah. we're out and we're like, oh, it's not getting late, so we just keep doing yeah. more and more you, and more. You use up the whole day when you have that much daylight. It's yeah. crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on the drive. We'd love to hear about the most amazing, picturesque, beautiful drives that you guys have done. Just let leave a comment and let us know because we love doing drives like that. This might take the cake for just so many amazing sites, one after one and so close to the road. Plus, you can do hikes and you can do all sorts of stuff. You, you don't can have literally to just... just drive for a little while, stop, yeah. hike, drive for a little while, stop, hike. It's and amazing. you can stop along the way. In fact, we would encourage you to take maybe a couple days and go see mm -hmm. everything that the Icefields Parkway has to offer because there is just so much to do and we only scratched the surface today. Well, I think we're going to chill for the rest of the night. We've got a couple beers oh, here. Yeah, some local beers. Yeah, we're actually a couple in, if you can't tell. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to end it here before it gets a, too sloppy. Yeah, a long day, a lot of driving, a little bit of hiking, maybe yeah. at high elevations. We so. pulled up here and we were like, all right, crack open some beers. <laughs> we just <laughs> exactly. need to chill for a bit. It's perfect. But we'll be coming at you guys with some cool stuff here in Banff. Some food, some sites, all sorts of goodies. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, but for now... It is jammy beer and soup time, and you don't need to see that. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.